Hi, this is Celeste from the Celestial Report, and here is another nano moment for you. I've been hitting the journals really hard in your behalf, so I'm going to share my screen and let's see what we find now. <clears throat> so this comes from, to us from Omega, American Chemical Society Omega, and this, the title of this is Encapsulation of Curcumin in polystyrene based nanoparticles making a drug loading capacity and cytotoxicity. Oh my gosh. I know many of you use curcumin, which is like turmeric and we love it. It, it treats like 1500 different things. And uh, we just, I say that for entertainment purposes, I'm not trying to I'm just letting you know that that's what I do. And anyway, it's a natural substance. It's, it's a natural plant. It's in like the ginger family and it grows as beautiful grasses. It's really easy to grow yourself. And they are now going to put, use nanoparticles in block coat polymers where that's kind of like glue commonly used in preparations of nano-sized drug delivery systems. They're going to use this polystyrene block uh, made of acrylic acid with copolymers, and it has been proposed for drug delivery purposes. However, the drug loading capacity and cytotoxicity, that means it's toxic to your cells, probably because of the polystyrene uh, plastic. I mean, would you really? I mean, really? I, when I want to take my curcumin, I don't want polystyrene in it. Anyway, moving right along, the PAA nanoparticles are still not fully recognized. Herein, we investigated the accumulation model for hydrophobic drug. That means drugs that don't like water. Find that very interesting. Keep it, keep it, tuck that under your hat for another day, curcumin and its spatial distribution inside the PSPAA nanoparticles. Experimental methods and atomistic molecular dynamics simulations were used to understand uh, the molecular structure of the PS core and how curcumin molecules interact and organize with the polystyrene matrix. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, the hydrophobic, that means it does not like water core of the PSPA nanoparticles, consists of adhering individually coiled polymetric chains, and it's compact enough to prevent post incorporation of the curcumin. However, the drug has a good affinity. Now notice they say it is a drug, not a nutrient, has good affinity for the P polystyrene matrix and can be efficiently enclosed in the polystyrene um, polyacrylic acid nanoparticle uh, formation. So what they're going to do is take this, uh, the curcumin, and they're going, it's, I don't know if I can do this without breaking it, but your curcumin would be in here and you're making like a capsule um, of polystyrene and acrylic acid. Oh my gosh. Um, and you're taking it and heaven only knows <clears throat> what types of drugs that they're going to put in it. The nanoparticles were found to have relatively low cytotoxicity to human skin fibroblasts, and the presence of the curcumin further increased their biocompatibility. Of course, uh, curcumin, that is one of its benefits, is that it is biocompatible, but the problem is the polystyrene and the acrylic acid really are not. I mean, would you really want that combination in your body? So our work provides detailed description of interactions between the hydrophobic drug and the polystyrene um, 
polyacrylic acid nanoparticles and information on the bio um, compatibility. And they want to know if it is a suitable drug delivery system. So I'm bringing this to you because many of you do take curcumin or turmeric and you might see the day, you better be reading that label where it includes polystyrene and acrylic acid. This does go ahead and give you a full um, discussion on the whole topic if you're interested in it. Here's a snapshot right down here in the lower right. So you do get more on this because uh, they're trying to sell you on it than just the abstract. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, heads up, read your labels when you get your curcumin in the days ahead and your turmeric because they may have a little bit of added um, things uh, such as the polystyrene and um, other drugs as well as pl plastics and acrylic acid. So anyway, I'll see you next time for the next nano moment.